Have you ever found yourself pondering over the marvel of how bridges are established over profound water bodies? It's indeed a spectacle of engineering, leaving many in a state of wonder. For the majority of these bridges extended over deep water, construction crews have to erect cofferdams or sink caissons into the water. This is done to create a dam and a platform where the concrete towers can stand tall. Constructing over lakes and riverbeds can be a challenging task as these can be unstable. Therefore, crews may to force piles deep into the Earth's crust to achieve the desired stability. The secret weapon to this process? Coffer dams. These are the structures developed within the water where large piles are forced into the depths and the surrounding water is pumped out. This creates a protected environment for construction. If the body of water is broad enough, the bridge builders may have to bring some specialized construction equipment like floating cranes, bridge booms, and hydro platforms that can function over water. These machines enable workers to perform safety checks and work in regions that they can't access from the ground. Hold tight as we zoom in and out, transitioning to the next scene, revealing the mystery of bridge construction over deep water. The secret behind building bridges over deep water lies in a technique called cofferdams. This isn't a magic trick, but a marvel of engineering. Cofferdams are temporary structures built into the water, which allow us to create a dry and safe environment for construction. Picture this, driving large piles into the water, forming a sort of wall. Once these barriers are in place, water within the enclosed area is pumped out, creating a dry, secure space where workers lay down the foundations of a bridge or carry out necessary repairs. However, the application of cofferdams isn't exclusive to bridge building. This technique is also a key in land reclamation. Through cofferdams, we can quite forge new land from the ocean or seabed and thus expand the horizons of our physical world. And as we zoom in on our historical timeline, you'll find interesting facts. Cofferdams aren't a recent invention. They've been in the picture for quite a while. Traces of their use lead us back to ancient civilizations. The Persians, the Romans, they all used them. These societies saw the potential this technique held, and we continue to reap its benefits today. The construction of cofferdams is a testament to human ingenuity and resourcefulness. Now, as the camera zooms out, revealing the grand scale of our achievements, we see the magic of cofferdams. They are a reflection of our capacity to manipulate our environment to fulfill our needs. They stand as a testament to our resourcefulness as a species. Let's delve into the step-by-step -step process of bridge construction. It all starts with site inspection and planning. Engineers survey the area, study the soil, and assess the environmental impact. They meticulously plan out every detail, from the design of the bridge to the materials to be used. Next, we move on to setting the foundation. This is where our cofferdams come in, providing a dry and stable environment for the foundation to be laid. Then comes the installation of piers and bridge supports, this is a critical step as these structures bear the load of the bridge and ensure its stability. Once the supports are in place, the superstructure, that's the deck and the components that you see above the water, is completed. This includes installing the deck, railings and any other features that the bridge design calls for. And finally, before the bridge is ready for use, there are final quality and safety inspections. Every inch of the bridge is scrutinized to ensure it meets safety standards and can withstand the daily wear and tear. And there you have it. That's the process of bridge construction, a meticulous and carefully planned journey from start to finish. It's a dance of precision and safety, a testament to human ingenuity and resilience against nature's challenges.